Hi, I'm Elaine Biagini, and this is Pat Brecker. We're going to talk to you about Proposition 14. You'll see it on your ballot as Authorizes Bonds Continuing Stem Cell Research. It's an initiative statute, and it's also a bond measure. This is a general obligation bond, which means it is paid for by the state general fund and requires voter approval. What is the question behind Prop 14? The question is, should California issue $5.5 billion in general obligation bonds to continue funding grants for research and development of stem cell treatments? Can you give us a little more background? What current issues does this address? Well, in 2004, voters approved Proposition 71, which added a provision to the California Constitution allowing stem cell research. The measure created the California Institute for Regener Regenerative Medicine, also known as CIRM, and allowed the state to issue $3 billion in general obligation bonds to finance its work. Prop 71 funded projects that include stem cell research to develop potential treatments for many diseases, including Alzheimer's, stroke, diabetes, and cancer. It also granted funds to support the construction of new research facilities and research internships. Without additional funding, CIRM will be forced to shut down. So what does Proposition 14 propose? Prop 14 would allow California to issue $5.5 billion in general obligation bonds to continue funding CIRM. How will those funds be spent? Well, the bond funds would be spent on grants to entities that conduct research, clinical trials, and funding for creating medical research facilities, as well as student training programs. Got it. And Prop 14 stipulates that no more than 7.5% of the bond funds are spent on operational costs, right? Right. Can you give us more specifics about the purposes? Sure. It will support continued research on therapies and treatments for chronic diseases and injuries, including brain and nervous system diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and dementia. There will be continued support for the Community Care Centers of Excellence, which are sites that conduct human clinical trials and provide treatments and cures. It will continue training programs for undergraduate students and fellowships for graduate students. It will also ensure that trials and treatments will provide equal opportunity for all Californians. And finally, it will increase the members on the Independent Citizens Oversight Committee. What is the expected fiscal impact? Well, the Legislative Analyst Office estimate the total cost to pay off these bonds would be $7.8 billion, $5.5 billion for the principal, and $2.3 billion for the interest. State costs would average about $260 million per year for about 30 years, with payments starting in five years. Now, this amount is less than 1% of the state's current general fund budget. Supporters say, Robert Klein II says, this medical revolution holds the promise of restoring health and quality of life for many of Californians, individuals, and families suffering from chronic disease and injury. And more funding is needed to complete research for human trials on promising treatments. In opposition, Marcy Darnowski, Executive Director of the Center for Genetics and Society says, it does nothing to address CIRM's built-in conflict of interest or its lack of legislative oversight, despite it being an agency supported wholly by public funds. And it outsources critically important decisions about ethical standards due to an unaccountable national committee. Yes vote means I support issuing $5.5 billion in general obligation bonds for the state's stem cell research institute and making changes to the institute's governance structure and programs. A no vote means I oppose issuing this $5.5 billion in general obligation bonds.